This premium collection box has dropped in price significantly. Is now the time to buy? With three from each of these four first sets in the Sword and Shield generation at $8.67 a pack. Currently, are these worth purchasing? And that's, you know what, the question we're gonna answer today. There's the first code car. For those of you that might be new here, let's go fire. Oh. We give away every card we open, so make sure you're in to win. We'll let you know how to do that later on in the video. We are going to go in reverse chronological order to, you know, go back into nostalgia mode and really find out whether or not this box is worth purchasing now versus when it was all of the rage just, you know, a year and a half ago. Dreadnaw and a ninjax for our rare okay seven second vivid voltage pack this zamazenta box comes with of course 12 different packs it is in the same world as the current charizard box uh and orceus box let's go water that we're seeing in our current generation that people you know went crazy uh with when they first came out obviously that fomo has come down considering how many charizard boxes have sold and how many were printed of course whooper did Denny. oh uh, a hollow raikou beautiful and oh double whammy a colossal v let's take a look at them under the microscope Colossal V. What a rocky Pokemon. Hollow Rare. We don't always show you guys these cards, but I had to show you this one. Last Vivid Voltage Pack. Hey, that second pack was a nice one. Will we find anything more in Vivid Voltage? Now, I know how some people were really disappointed in the pulls in some of their Charizard boxes you know thinking pokemon actually like made sure that there was less let's go fire oh what did i do there let's go fire now the reality is pokemon didn't make the charizard boxes bad every pack is a pack that can win and you just never know what you're going to get um and that is the same case with these beautiful boxes that just like the charizard and arceus box electric Moo G's and Grablox also have beautiful metal dice included. Darkness Ablaze is up next. And those metal dice are, you know, and, and coin are just as nice. And so if you're looking for that metal feel or if you're looking at that Charizard box and you might not have gotten one the first time around, they're very close in price points. Now, they were. Let's go fire. The reality is these Zamazenta boxes are the lowest out of all the pretty boxes that are out there right now. At 104 Canadian, which is the current going rate at our stores that we've looked at recently, it really is a good price for the amount of packs if you're looking for this style of box. Paris, Larvitar, Simi Sage, and Agathatel. So, you know, sometimes it's worth the wait. Now, we bought these boxes right before the hype. We bought them at retail and they've just kind of been sitting in our inventory. Um, and you know what? I'm, I'm glad we did buy them at the time before all the rage happened. Let's go water. Now, these boxes are now, were at one point about $145, $146. And the one right behind me, the Zossian, still is. Starvia, Nubbull, Melton, Benelby, Paris, Larvitar, Wimpod, ooh, and a Hollow Hoopa. And so it's one of those things that we saw the price drop on this box and we thought it might be time to talk about it and talk about these beautiful boxes. Now, we personally haven't bought a Charizard UPC yet. It doesn't mean we're not going to. We are still contemplating buying one. But, you know, at $9, $10 a booster, let's go fire. We just would rather commit money to other things like Crown Zenith um, and some of the other sets that are currently fairly readily available 
but that people are talking about. The Charizard box is one of those things that it was filled with all kinds of Sword and Shield era stuff, and I have a feeling we're going to be able to find them much cheaper soon enough. And a Swana for our rare. Okay, now we move on to Rebel Clash. And then we'll end off on a beautiful Sword and Shield set, which I would love to pull any of the Rainbow Rares, but that Rainbow Rare Lapras and Snorlax are gorgeous. There's the code card there. And if we could pull one of those for you guys today, that would be amazing. Let's go fighting. And so, you know, I'll never tell you guys what to do or what to buy or when to buy it. But if you're looking for a really cool box right now, something that's different, if you're planning on opening up a lot of packs and want that more older nostalgia feel, this box might, it might just be the time to do it. It's seen a very drastic drop over the last six months or so. Vellaby, Semitone, and a Spiritomb for our rare. Now, you obviously have to be into the, you know, original Sword and Shield era. It's, you know, th those are the packs that are in here versus some of the newer Sword and Shield era, which is in the Charizard and the Charizard and Arceus box. Let's go fire. And so it really depends what you're collecting, what you're looking for. As far as sealed stuff goes, if you don't have this in your collection yet, and love sealed product. This one's a beauty. I have to say the box is just stunning. Sandy Gast, Vulpix, Coughing, Electabuzz, and Galarian Mr. Rhyme. Now there isn't an infinite stock of these boxes. Unlike the Charizard UPC, which I have a feeling will be for sale for uh, quite some time to come. The last Rebel Clash right here, guys, you know, I hope this information is helpful to you guys. Please let me know in the comments down below. Let's go fire. Can we find some fire in this Rebel Clash? Nugget, Bronzor, Applin, Temple, Troopish, Heliptile, Hodge, Hot Edge, okay. And a Hollow Galarian Surfetch. I'll take that. I'll take that. Now, before we finish off today's opening with some Sword and Shield base set, I just want to take a look at this beautiful Zamazenta V promo that comes in the box under the microscope. Zamazenta V, this gold is simply amazing. I know it's a promo, but I just love this card. Three packs left. Can we pull a rainbow rare? My goodness, if we pull a rainbow rare, I might start crying. No, I probably won't, but but I will be very, 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 very happy girl. Okay, let's go fire. Shoulda went water. Galvatula, Quick Ball, Sobble, Grookey, Wooloo, Sizzlipede, Galarian Meowth, Marnie and a Sentus Corch. Okay, okay. Two packs left. Don't forget, if you'd like to be in to win, leave a comment down below. It doesn't need to be anything crazy. It could be a beautiful, your favorite emoji. It could be your favorite Pokemon, whatever you wish. And don't forget to subscribe. And it's just literally that simple. Let's go water. And from there, don't forget to come back next week to find out whether or not you've won today's cards. Blipbug, Sobble, Mincino, Galarian Ponyta, Salandit, Hyper Potion, and a Lantern for our rare. What a cute little fishy there. Okay, last pack. Will it bring us some last pack magic? Let's find out. There's our last code card, guys. Don't forget to come back to us on Friday for our next opening and giveaway. Let's go fire. We gotta have some fire in this pack. Galarian Stuntfish, Heat More, Poke Kid. Congratulations to last week's Poke Kid. Zigzagoon, Krabby, Pharaoh Seed, Rosalia, Rhyhorn, Vitality Bound. And what do we have? A grab lock. 
This is a super interesting box. Hope you guys like it. Don't forget to keep on chasing on. Did you miss Retro Week last week? Check out our videos over here.